Hi everyone and welcome to another IndieTips.com video tutorial hosted here on Ugly McGregor. Today we are going to look at how you can film at golden hour. First off, what is golden hour? It may be a phrase that you've already heard of. It's also called magic hour. And very simply, golden hour is a short period of time just after sunrise and just before sunset. Now when the sun is high in the sky from midday to late afternoon, there is very little interference from our atmosphere. The light is bright and the shadows are harsh. Yet, just after sunset or just before sunrise, the sun is just about level to the horizon and the light has to travel through many miles of dense atmosphere before illuminating what we can see. With that, the intensity of direct sunlight is greatly reduced and the blue light emitting from the sun is caught up in the atmosphere, leaving more red, yellow and orange to pass through, which gives the sun a nice warm golden glow which sits at a color temp of around 3500K, which is the type of color temperature you would get from a tungsten light. However, unlike being inside lit by a tungsten light, outside we are welcomed with the luscious, warm, soft glow of the setting sun. And because the sun is near level with the horizon, our shadows are transformed into longer dynamic shadows, which can add a lot of visual interest to your composition. The soft light is great for filming and photographing subjects because it's friendly to dynamic range. So you're not losing details in the shadows or trying to bring down the overblown highlights. The hour in magic hour and golden hour is a figurative term. It doesn't necessarily mean that from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. specifically, golden hour is active. And of course it depends where you are located in the world. Those near the equator are gonna have a bit more trouble as golden hour can last only a few minutes. Yet near the two poles, golden hour can last for a few hours at a time. So we know what golden hour is. Let's have a look at what tips you need to have in your pocket to capture good footage at golden hour. Number one, and probably the most important, is do not set your white balance as automatic. The camera will read your subject and see that there is too much red in the image and try to counter it by inserting more blue. By doing this, it's going to neutralize the skin color, which is good for most circumstances Yet, in this circumstance, it will also remove the golden color cast. 2. Plan accordingly. If you're shooting a dialogue scene, there's a chance that the actor could deliver the wrong line and you need to do another take. Or, perhaps you might lose focus. Whatever it might be, the amount of mistakes you can make are minimal as you will be running against the clock. So have your equipment set up before you arrive on location. Or if your location is in the middle of nowhere, arrive an hour or two before golden hour to set up early. 3. Bring a reflector. Golden hour is a preferred moment of the day by many photographers because the sun provides such a soft incandescent light that models can face the sun and it will be illuminated with an all around smooth coverage. I personally like to use the golden sun as a backlight. However, you're going to lose your subject if you're completely exposed for the sun in the sky. So bring a reflector with someone to hold it so you can bounce the sun back up to the subject and have an all round good exposure. 4. Use the flaring to your advantage. When the sun is at its peak height, you have no chance of successfully flaring the lens without blowing out every highlight, mid-tone and shadow in the composition. Because the light is diffused at golden hour, you can get a lot more flaring and retain the exposure for the majority of the highlights and the mid-tones. 5. Shoot with a wide angle lens. The sun will paint the landscape in colors that are non-viewable for 22 other hours of the day. Don't confine yourself to tight framing and shallow depth of field when there's so much compositional beauty to capture. And that's going to be round about it. Golden hour can really make any dull looking area look beautiful. But as mentioned, preparation is the key. Keep an eye out on the weather. Make sure the sky isn't too cloudy as you may not receive any light at all. Remember to like, comment and subscribe for more videos and you can find more information and lighting at IndieTips.com. Until next time.